Hi there. I'm Matt with K15T and we are going to talk about project management. Project management is essential to keep our organization running smoothly. It helps those of us who are working on tasks work on our tasks. It helps those people who focus on budgets focus on budgets. It helps those in leadership look at the bigger picture of our company. It keeps our entire organization working together well. There are a lot of tools for project management. What we want to talk about in this video is how you can use Confluence to take a lot of those activities that you do even outside of your project management tools, bring them into one place, Confluence, and then use it alongside your great project management tools like Jira or Trello. At K15T, we have been managing projects in Confluence from start to finish for years now. So here are some things we found that you're going to need. The first thing we're going to need to do is describe the purpose and goal of the project so that anybody can look at it and understand why we're actually doing it. Next, we have to assemble and manage a really great team, fill all those roles needed to meet that ultimate goal. Then we lay out a great plan for the project so that we can initiate it and showcase what the problem is and how we're going to solve it given the resources that we're asking for. We wanted to find the scope of the project to say we're only doing this much or maybe this much. Scope creep can be a problem, so we also want to take a look at major milestones that we want to hit in order to measure that we're being successful. During all of this, we will be maintaining an overview of the project with all of the statuses so that we can proactively react to any issues that might come up. Oh, and also we have to keep our stakeholders up to date so that they can get regular feedback from us and we can get regular feedback and input from them. And if you're not already juggling enough, you're probably managing multiple projects, which means you need one place where you can evaluate the health of all the projects you're managing and your key stakeholders can go to that same place to see the status of those projects they care about. Ooh, project management can be a bit of a challenge. So if a project management task you want to do in Confluence is on this list, hold on to it. We'll talk about it. If there's something I forgot, drop it in the comments below and we'll talk about how to do that thing in Confluence. Really wish I would have talked to you before I filmed this video. Oh, also, I'm going to talk about a couple of apps from Atlassian, Atlas and Jira, as well as an app from us at K15T called Orderly Databases. These apps aren't required to do project management in Confluence, but they do help level it up in certain ways. So I'll mention that only when I think it's important. Okay. Let's jump into that list. So as you might have expected with Confluence, a great project always starts with a page. And in this case, it's going to be your project page. If the project is smaller, you might just have a single page that lives in the page tree in some other space, like a team space or something like that. But if it's a massive project, you might have a whole separate space just for that project. And you use the space overview page as that main project page. This is the one and only place that anybody in the organization needs to go to find the purpose, the goal, the status updates, the definition of done, the related pages, the team, the project manager, and the project sponsor so that everybody can be on the same page. Oh boy, that joke never gets old. Oh, and by the way, project pages should look consistent across your organization. So anybody who looks at any project knows where to find key information. So this would be a great place to use a Confluence template. In fact, there's a really good project page that's provided with Confluence out of the box. I mentioned that the project page lays out all the people that are on the team working on the project. And that's true. I can see the name of the team here and all the people working on it. But if I click, I can see the team page in Confluence. This is really great because I can see all the people that are working on the project, their role in the project. I can see resources related to the project and even ways of getting a hold of the team working on it or even getting support from them. This is a great resource for those people in the organization that maybe don't care so much about the projects being worked, but about the people people working on projects. What teams are they part of? What are those teams working on? The team page is exactly what you can share with those types of people. So back on the project page, you know how in your head as a project manager, you're like, we should organize all our work for in the entire project in one place so everybody can find it. And everybody working on stuff is like, oh yes. <laughs> uh, no. That's not the way things are in Confluence because a lot of the people on our team are using Confluence to collaborate on their work. We can group that work under our beautiful project page. So the project page becomes the home for the project and all of that other work can be grouped down below it. Now you might be thinking that's not going to work because we have people using other tools for some of the things in the project, like for example, task management. So maybe task management is being done in Trello. 
well, that's fine. You can actually drop a Trello board right into Confluence so that you can manage all the tasks there and also see them right here in Confluence. Or maybe the team is using Jira and you want to use the Jira roadmap. Well, you can drop a Jira roadmap right into Confluence as well. Because Confluence integrates so well with so many tools, you can do things like planning your scope and milestones both in Confluence or outside of Confluence and still bring that content back in. It's really, really cool. Also, one other great thing about doing all the work for the project in one place in Confluence, once the project is done, you can take all of that content that you need to use as long-term documentation and put it somewhere else. So, oh, those processes and procedures, they go over here. That documentation, that goes over here. This user guide, that goes over here. Any of those long-standing content pieces that are a result of the work in the project can easily be moved where people will be able to find it in Confluence long-term. Everything else is just a historic record that you could easily archive and reference later or reference never, which is typically how things go. Now, of course, the art of project management transcends task and information management alone. It enters into that wild and wonderful world of communication. <laughs> and that's where things can get hairy. I know all the emails I've sent to people to get updates or to give updates, and I trust maybe you've been there as well. But in Confluence, things are different. So for your team meetings, for example, you don't send out an email summary, you just create a team meeting page. There's a template for meeting notes where everybody can be involved, you can assign tasks to people, and then you can just send that to people. In fact, if you have access to automations in Confluence, you can have an automation automatically create a team meetings page. So as soon as a team gets together to meet regularly, there's a page all ready for them to document whatever it is they're talking about. And once again, our project page comes in clutch because it helps us communicate asynchronously the status of the project. No more sending out email. Instead, you have one page where you can communicate the status of the project with weekly updates, daily updates, however you want to do it. Anybody could come to that page at any time to see the health of the project. And if you're working on a really large project or you have a lot of stakeholders who need different information, you could even use the blog feature in Confluence along with maybe one of the great templates in Confluence to deliver weekly updates to all of your stakeholders with information on how it's going, where you are with milestones, all that good stuff. And yes, I know there are some people who really just want an update in their inbox. For those people, you can use the share feature in Confluence to send it off to their inbox, or you could ask them to watch the blog or watch the page and they will automatically get updates when the page is published. So they get their updates in their email and you don't have to do anything. And speaking of communicating about a lot of different projects, you're probably managing a lot of different projects. So talking about just one is all well and good, but there's so much legwork checking in on all of them and communicating the status of all of them to all the stakeholders. It's a lot of just legwork for you as a project manager and Confluence has some tools you can use to eliminate some of that and make sure the, those updates bubble up to one place. So with Confluence, you can make overview pages. They have a list of all of your projects on them and these can be used in different ways. So maybe in the marketing teams space, you have a list of all of the marketing projects they're working on and you can see the status of each of them, who's working on them, when the due date is, all that useful information that's updated automatically. Or maybe you want to have at the very top of the organizational structure, maybe there's an organization space in Confluence, you have one page where you can look at every project that's being being run anywhere in the company by any team to see how they're doing and who's involved in what. All of that information is updated completely automatically. This is done using some clever little macros called the page properties and the page properties report macros. They do some really cool stuff to help pull the information out of the project and put it on that big project overview page so that you as the PM have to do very little work to keep things up to date so your stakeholders know what's going on. Now there are some project management activities that we think just are better with other tools or apps alongside Confluence. We already mentioned Jira and Trello. Task management in those tools is far superior than just using action items in Confluence. You're really gonna want one of those if you're working even with a team larger than two people. Another option would be Atlas, which is a great tool for communicating the status of projects. You can make posts about projects that are a lot like sending tweets. You can send the status of the project and a short message and 
anybody in the company can subscribe to the projects they're interested in. So people get a feed of updates for all the projects they're interested in, and they can go see that connected Confluence team to find even more information about the project. If you're interested in seeing it more, drop that in the comments because we would love to take a deeper look at that. Another app that you might consider is Orderly Databases made by my team at K15T. So I mentioned how we can make overview pages that have a bunch of projects on them. And those are great, but the macros you use to make those happen are very delicate. So if somebody changes a label on a page or doesn't put a page property in just right, they can break the whole thing. And that's not great for team members who just want to put information in Confluence easily. So Orderly databases help simplify the process of setting up a new project or updating a project because it's really easy to update those key bits of information and keep them consistent. And you can also make much more useful reports for your stakeholders. So you can show as much or as little information about all the projects as you want, as well as give them the ability to filter on things like project status or the project manager so they can really see how well the organization is doing as a whole. At K15T, we really do believe that Confluence is a fantastic project management tool because project managers can do a lot of their work right alongside everybody else on the team. And they can automatically communicate with their stakeholders so that they have more time to focus on the things they actually love to do. And speaking of, we really love to make videos about the very best ways to use Confluence. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of those. And this is just project management. There is so much more you can do in Confluence. So jump into another video as we continue to explore how to use Confluence to share what you do best.